Saunders is new to have been beating on about the need for Bobby Robson to find the right man to play up front for England. I wonder now if after the events of this week you're thinking, well, have England missed out on the man for the job? This is the village home of Oxford United's prolific goalscorer John Aldridge, born in Liverpool, but now it's revealed qualified to play for the Republic of Ireland. Now it is of course a source of much English frustration that Mark Lawrenson elected to play for the Republic rather than await his chance with England. And I wonder now if after Aldridge's performance in the Milk Cup semi-final against Aston Villa, there might not be similar regrets if Aldridge makes the same decision. Now here's Hibbert for Oxford. Looking to send out the way. Glover had covered his run. But he's lost it now. Aldridge working in the middle. Oh, oh sweetly done. Again, Bradley will look for the long one here. With any of the target on the six-yard area. Oxford have got some big fellas at the back. Burt for the shot. Oh, yes. Walters with the corner. Evans was up there. as remote a connection as saying you once had a holiday in Dublin. Uh, but in fact, it's not quite like that, is it? No, it's... Um, I don't remember the lady very well. Like She lived in, in our house with us when I was six and she passed on. And uh, she was good to me. She was very good to me as a little lad. And uh, she saved me from a colour of hiding off me on the dad when I was mischievous. Like, she tied me in the gas cupboard. So it's a bit ironic that it's turned down that I can play for their clubs. I, I, I just can't see any chance of getting into the England side, really. So, um, as I said, like it'd, it'd be great to, to play for um, Ireland. Well, I must say, you sound more like John Conte or Jimmy Tarbert than the Dubliners <laughs> or, or Val Dooney. Yeah, I know, yeah. Perhaps uh, I'll have to take some lessons off David Langan, I think. 